Welcome back to the next episode in my Helix Amps Revisited series. Today, I'm going to be taking another look at a very cool amp model in the Helix, and that is the Mandarin Rocker. That was from one of the more recent firmware updates, a really cool addition. This is a model of the dirty channel of the orange Rocker Verb Mark III amp, and I must say it doesn't disappoint. Some really sweet tones inside of there. I'm going to have this preset that we're going to create today, Then I'm going to take you through in just a moment up on my website for free you can go over there you can grab that mess around with it tweak it however you like but I think it's a really nice starting point or even just as is I think it's a, a great and very enjoyable preset to play it's going to be extremely similar to one of the snapshots from my Mandarin Rocker Ultimate preset which is available from the Line 6 Marketplace which is a like I said a multi snapshot version of this preset that also features a very wide array of effects dialed in just beautifully and it's a preset that I really really enjoy utilizing. So in this video, I'm going to take you through in detail how I created this particular snapshot of this preset and let you hear it out of the mix. And then later, I'll play you a video demo of a piece of music that was recorded entirely with my Mandarin Rocker Ultimate preset from the Line 6 Marketplace, utilizing the various snapshots of them completely untouched in the mix, just as they are in the preset. And you kind of hear how those blend together and work with a rhythm section. So without further ado, we're going to dive right over to HX Edit now and take a detailed look at how how this particular preset works. So here we are over in HX Edit. I am playing my absolutely stunning Vigier GV Wood with P90 pickups and I absolutely love this guitar sounds beautiful. And we're taking a look at the preset here. This is the push snapshot or extremely similar to the push snapshot of the full blown, as I mentioned, Mandarin Rocker Ultimate preset. The links will be below to both this free preset and the full blown preset. So starting at the end of my chain, it's gonna look very typical to a lot of folks who follow my channel. I'm using my template as a starting point. Uh, some folks still seem to question, you know, why do you have that uh, studio comp at the end? Why do you have that shelf EQ? Very obvious reasons. I've talked about it a million times before. Subtle, subtle glue at the end. I like what the studio, LA studio comp does to the tone. Uh, you can turn it, you know, it's, it's this simple. If you don't like it, you do that and it's out of there, right? So it is going to be extremely subtle though. It's because I set it up that way. And in this one, it's even more interesting because I use the mix control to do a little bit of parallel compression. It just sounded right to me for this. The, the mix is down to 75%. Peak reduction is at 5.5 and gain is at 5. And, and in like with most of my presets, you're just going to be getting a very tiny amount of gain reduction. It's more just the glue that this adds and I like what it does to the tone. Now moving on in the signal chain here, we have the parametric EQ. Again, it's not even being used. So it is in the chain. It's well, I'm, I shouldn't say it's not being used. It's being used as a low cut and a high cut. Low cut at 100 hertz, high cut at 10 kilohertz. The only reason I have it in there again is if I do want to make a tweak in a particular situation, I have the block in there, I can utilize it. So it's there only being used for low and high cuts, so really not doing a whole heck of a lot here. I have the plate reverb in this one, a very nice reverb from the legacy reverbs in the Helix. Decay set at 4.5, pre delayed 15 milliseconds, uh, mix at 28%. Just a little, nice little subtlety to give us a little bit of ambience. Now, the low and high shelf EQ, something I use oftentimes, and my really typical settings as far as the frequencies go of low and high frequencies, both set to 650 hertz. I love being able to control the frequencies below and above that. And I find that's a really nice center point to be able to control low end and maybe some mud or add some fullness in or some brightness, but not in a very overt way. So with this particular preset, I'm really not using it a lot. I'm taking all the frequencies below and pulling them on half a dB and all the frequencies above 650 Hertz and boosting them by half a dB. But I do like to have this here in case I get in a particular situation or particular mix or room I'm playing in and I need to maybe brighten things up, I'll just tweak this up just a little tiny bit. And sometimes, something like 1 dB either way can really go a long way in just tuning that preset just perfectly. The cab I chose, the 412 Mandarin EM with a really interesting mic and a mic you got to be kind of careful with sometimes because it can be very dull and kind of boomy sounding, but it's the 4038 ribbon, which is a model of the Coles 4038 ribbon mic. I have a dead center, which is a little odd, but that 
getting some of those sort of dead center, harsher frequencies in conjunction with this mic actually works out all right. And I counteract some of the boominess by pulling it back by five inches, but I have the angle at zero degrees and that's basically it. And then on the amp, I have, like I said, I'm kind of going for a push sound edge of breakup here, not too heavy, although there is fair amount of gain on tap here. And this is kind of interesting. Look at the controls. Drive at three, bass, middle, treble, master, all across the board at five, channel volume at 10, and sag, hum, ripple, bias, bias, X, all at five as well. So very simple settings on the amp. So let's do this. We're going to come in here. We're going to turn off all of the blocks except for the amp and cab. So we're going to listen to just the amp and the cab, and then we'll see how all of these kind of sweetener blocks that I add in are going to kind of bring this to life. And in my opinion, make it just sound a little bit more mix ready and polished. So here's the sound of just the amp and the cab. Again, uh, Vigier GV Wood with P90 pickups. <laughs> As is expected with our ribbon mic is it's kind of dull, but you'll see like what I did here. Here's some of that low end isn't exactly where we want it, but by pulling that back starts to control that and being on axis more. Gives us a little more cut. Now I'm going to bring in our little compressor is barely doing anything, just a little bit. It just adds that little bit of glue that I really like. Now we'll bring in our low and our high cuts. Clean up that bottom end so it's going to sit better with maybe kick drum and bass guitar. Already liking that a lot better. We'll bring in the plate reverb. And that's doing what it's supposed to, giving this a little bit of life, a little bit more, less of a dry sound and more of a live sound. Now let's bring in that low and high shelf. And this is gonna be subtle because like I said, I'm only cutting by 0.5 dB and boosting by 0.5 dB. You have to be listening to a good set of headphones or some really good speakers to hear that. If you did want to take this a little further, what if we want to brighten that up a bit more? I could add another dB above the 650 hertz. That's the beauty about the ribbon mics is they do end up taking a little bit of EQ very nicely. This is really going to be about personal preference. Maybe somebody wants it quite bright. We could boost all the way up to say three. Back to where I had it. So it gives a really easy way to adjust this. We could also come down here and control the bottom a little more. kind of really enjoying just that really subtle move here though of the plus and minus 0.5 just to give this a little bit of warmth or retain some warmth even on a neck pickup
All right, so there you have it. There's what that tone sounds like. So as I mentioned, that is very similar to a single snapshot of one of the snapshots from my full-blown Mandarin Rocker Ultimate preset, which, as I mentioned, has multiple snapshots and a full array of effects really dialed in sweetly. And if you'd like to hear what that sounds like, here's a little demo video utilizing all of the snapshots in that with no other processing after the fact, just so you can hear how these all work together in a mix. guys think of that i really enjoy that preset i think it sounds really great it's a lot of fun to play if you agree you can grab the free preset at my website that we built today and if you're so inclined and want to grab the full-blown preset that's available at a link below also at the line six marketplace thank you guys so much for tuning in i really hope you enjoyed that and i hope you enjoy the presets and have some fun playing along with those and get some inspiration from them please like the video share with anybody you think we get some user enjoyment out of watching it also please subscribe to the channel hit the little bell notification to get notified when i put new content out i'll be back really soon with some more thank you guys again so much for sharing your time with me. Ciao for now.